What's going on, BFL fam? I'm Carlos. Please welcome back Tiff Benson. Hello. To Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. I'm so happy to have her back. It might be Thanksgiving to you guys, but for me it's Christmas because I'm hooking up with Tiff Benson. She's been a real busy girl this year, and God bless, and all the best to you, my love. Thank you. So today we have five fragrances of the entire Dahlia Sodi collection. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover Thanks so much for tuning in to BFL today. As always, I really do appreciate it and hope you're all doing great. Like my t-shirt? What does it say, Tiff? Just one more perfume bottle, I promise. And then the back? Fingers crossed. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> That's funny. Who so, can... are you familiar Wait with- Wait a second, is this merch? No, 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 it's just one of my favorite t-shirts. Cute, <laughs> love. I do have merch, which, you can find Support underneath my um, videos. <laughs> Everything good by you? Yes. Awesome. Busy is an understatement. Like, she is just, like, everywhere in a good way. And um, even though I haven't seen her as much as I used to in the past, I support her wholeheartedly. Thank and I'm real you. happy for her success. And much love to this man right here. Thank I love you. her. Thank you. Thank you. So this is a brand created by Dalia Sodi, who is a Mexican singer songwriter producer actress entrepreneur mm -hmm. very very famous very very beautiful i actually wasn't aware of her until i was sent this from the company mm -hmm. but as always all opinions are our own it's her first time smelling these i've smelled these before but this is going to be her first impressions yes i definitely wanted to smell them on camera and give you first impressions she refused to smell them yeah. beforehand so please know that this is totally organic but I was saying that when I was telling the girls at work, I'm doing this new line from Thalia. First of all, I said, Thalia Sodi. She said, it's Thalia Sodi. They all knew who she was. Yes. So she is very famous in the Latin community. And awesome. uh, that's really awesome. And I'm, I'm always happy to support. So it came out in August, 2019. They all sell for $48 except for one which is the Blooming Opal that goes for 58. They were composed by Gino Percantino and Patricia Shu from Man and Harry Freeman from Firmanish. Wonderful. We will start with the one closest to you. These are already sprayed, but I'm gonna give you a, a, fr a fresh spray. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it fresh. My favorite color, I love this color. Amethyst? <laughs> Just purples in general, I love okay. purples. I love my ring light, but I really don't like that it gets some of the bottles in the merchandise. Like, see? Yeah. You see? Yeah. That little thing? And God forbid you wear, if you wear glasses, it looks like you have like fake eyeballs. So this one is called Absolute Amethyst. There you go, my dear. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so there is something that I like about this. It has a familiarness to it. Yes, it really does. It kind of smells like, um, I want to say like the Yves Saint Laurent, the uh, opium, the black opiums. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's got a really thick and dense quality about it that I really do enjoy. These I'm are not surprised unisex. by the quality. Yeah? Yeah, I am. I mean, because sometimes you never know what you're expecting when mm -hmm. it comes to like price point and then like celebrity fragrance, our favorite. But they work with some great noses there. Yeah. Right. I mean, Patricia Chu. I'm so sorry. Patricia C-H-O-U-X, however you say that. I'm actually Facebook friends with you, so if I said your name incorrectly, please do forgive me. How I like this mind. one. This one is really great. Um, it's very feminine, right? Yeah. To you? How do you think the dry down is? How does it compare to the fresh opening? So it's like a patchouli thing going on. There's a little bit of sweetness. The sweetness is really nice. It almost reminds me of, I, I like the opening. The opening so far is really nice. 
Oh my gosh, it's like a uh, soft and powdery and sweet. Yes, Wonderful. but not tooth achingly sweet. No. A nice um, subtle sweetness. So the next one is called Blooming Opal. It's the white bottle. Okay. What did you think of this one? Did you like it? I like that one. Okay. And it actually performs really well on skin. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> I predict you're going to like that one. <laughs> okay, yes, it is nice. <laughs> it's coconutty vibes. Yes. So a tropical. White floral. Yes. All of the above. If you like Soleil Blanc, you'll like something like this. That's why I knew you wouldn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Very it's nice. nice. All wear right, it. so definitely tropical side. It's got the uh, floral, white floral thing and coconut. And it kind of reminds me of like that oil that, um, I forget what it's called. There's an oil. Wait, <laughs> for like forget. for the summertime? It's, yeah, I forget it. Never mind. It's lovely. It's really lovely. So I was saying before I, I cut you off by accident, these are for women. I think a couple of them a guy could pull off, but they're definitely marketed and, and created for women. This one is very feminine, and so is this one, I think. Sure. It's M Manoia oil or something like that? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. I'm glad. It was going to yep. drive me crazy. Yep, that's what it is. <laughs> this is the box that they come in. I just wanted, I put out one instead of putting them all out. Okay. The next one here is called Blooming Diamonds. Oh, Diamond Petals. Diamond Petals. By the way, I forgot to say that Dahlia always dreamed of having her own fragrance line and she finally did it this year. Yes. So congrats on that. Yes, congrats. Having your own fragrance line is very in vogue these days. So this seeps to me. Go ahead, you, you talk. Let's see what you say. I have my impression already. Fruity. Fruity floral. Fruity floral, for sure. Mm. Sorry, I'm like, huh. No. <laughs> Getting a little uh, aggressive up in here. Kind of on the designery side. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, you know, this almost reminds me of like, um, like a Victor and Rolf fragrance. I can't remember. It's like the, well, this is really pretty, really feminine. This is not one that you guys can play with. Well, you can play with, with whatever you want, but right. I personally wouldn't wear it. This is, um, it has a young carefree nature about it. Yeah. It feels pretty and it feels Happy in summary. Does it? <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. This is making me feel happy. Or summary. Or spring. I, I would say better than yeah, summer. Yeah, it's 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 cheerful. And it's it reminds me of like being in love. Oh, does it? <laughs> Tell me about this that. One Tell moves, me more about that. It's been that. a minute, but uh, yeah, I do know. Yo, like seriously. I shouldn't even go into this, but I've had my heart broken so many times. I've been in love. I was in love in 7th grade, 8th grade, ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade. And all those years, my heart was broken. <laughs> He's taking us back all the way back in time. <laughs> no, well, we've all been there. It just You're not alone. Yeah, for sure. I'm not doing a woe was me thing here. I'm just, just saying. But that reminds me of, of Happy Time Spring. Yeah, this is definitely like the honeymoon stage of yeah. a relationship, <laughs> you sure. know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I do like it though, this is, it's nice. What did I do with the other, oh, they fell. Here, let me get another one. Oh, excuse me. I was so busy talking about love. Oh, God. Okay, good. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, so far, pretty good. Yeah, so far, so good. The I'm price impressed. point, I think, the price points are definitely on point. 
I'm impressed. They smell good and they're not overly expensive and definitely affordable. Mm -hmm. So this one I did review with my brother Steven on his channel. This is called Azur, Azur Crystal. Ooh. What do you think, boo? It's clean, soapy, even. Mm. I know when your skirt is not blown up. My skirt's not blown up on this. I like this one. Yeah? I do like this one. It's got a tropical nature to me. Yeah. It, it smells very... Um, Aquatic-ish. And um, mm -hmm. I do like this one. And this is one that I think a guy could pull off if they felt so inclined to. I, I do like it. Let's see if the dry down is any better for you. So you're not, nice. a, you're not a big fan of like aquatics. I don't mind them. I just, for me, it's like I gotta, I have to frame it, right? So when and where do I wear my aquatics? Mostly like after the gym, like when I'm trying okay. to stay fresh or stay clean or maybe like as a morning daytime scent. Um, for me, this smells like something you would want to spray on in the dead of winter, even to remind yourself of the summer. Of the summer, yeah, yeah. for sure. It's very nice. I can yeah. see this doing really being a beautiful scent to wear yeah. in the spring summer months. I'm really, really impressed with what we got smelling here before it us today. It even smells a little floral too, like aquatic, mm -hmm. but slightly floral. Last one up is Liquid Sun. And this is the citrus of the family. Okay. And I'd say another happy fragrance. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. And um, so you know clearly which one she liked, right? <laughs> so let's get to the tea, the ones that I liked. Um, really liked this um i feel like so this is me like selling why i like this <laughs> mm -hmm. i really like this one because it smells like it could almost be like borderline niche quality mm -hmm. same with this one as well um this i i like this one because it has like that um Summer, Coconutty, summery, yeah, suntan. Coconut, not suntan. It, just, it smells like something that you could just like yeah, put yeah, in yeah. your hair and like, you know, very... Um, Manoi oil. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like something that you can live in. And I think that this one is probably the most likable um, yeah. and playful of them all. But to me, these these three right here are ones that I would yeah. be like... So I, I'm, I'm with you. I actually concur with you. This was the flattest one to me. Um, yes. Not my favorite um, citrus. I I do love citrus, but this one was just okay for me. Yeah. But you got okay. four other really really good ones that are definitely worth the fifty dollars that they cost, or sixty dollars for this one. Lovely. So I'm thank impressed. you for joining me. Yes. No more. Cool. Lovely to see you. Hope you guys enjoyed. That's our take, short and sweet on the Thalia Sodi Collection. Hope you enjoyed. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. Go and show some love over at Tip Benson on YouTube, on Instagram, because she's really popping over yes, there. Yes, <laughs> do it for the gram. No, I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> if you haven't a subscriber, <laughs> click on the bell icon so you don't miss notifications on the reviews and content giveaways and all the free are always happening right here at BFL. Take care, stay blessed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.